Okay. It's in there. The white, the white one? Yeah, the white one. Yeah, pull that out. Pull that. Okay. When you drop this back in, there should be no water in the front. Does that make sense? Yes, so that's going to be your water level. Okay. We're going to go to two, a little strainer at the end. This one's built in to this inlet tube. Some of them are attached to it. Like that one. Mine's built in. You have a new one that's built in. So. That's going to keep rocks, any kind of debris, from coming inside the inner tube or suction tube. Up. Now, this is your hose. This is your nozzle. If the nozzle is damaged, it's going to change the effect of your water of your water uh, tank. That's, you know, why? For a reason why that would happen. Because the orifice is a certain size. Once you open or increase the orifice, it's going to smell more than it should. And it's not going to work properly. Get rid of your water. It's removable. If those. See if yours is removable, there's a couple that are not. Then I'm going to say that there's a gasket here. You know, if yours doesn't come off, it's okay. Look at your neighbor. There's a gasket here. On the maintenance, make sure the gasket's there. It's not broken, cracked. That can cause a leak. Okay? On the inside of the valve part, you guys squeeze. Yeah, right here. You're going to see a little bit. You're going to see the plunger on the back side of the valve. See that plunger activate, and then you turn to the front, you're going to see it you push down. What ends up happening is that you have what's the atmosphere pressure? 14.7. You're going to fill this to 100 psi, right? Once this is inside, it's compressed. You're going to open that plunger, right? It's going to allow that pressure to come up and you expel the out. That makes sense? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Least resistance, right? Cool. All right. 70 40 in the valve area, water display, it takes out the water. I keep it clean, um, prevents rust. This is a Schrader valve. So bicycles, tires, anything that has air in it, there's a there's a special tool that removes that little valve that's in there. Sometimes the valves go bad, they get stuck, whatever the case may be damaged. You can remove that. Sometimes water leaks in there. A good way to find the air leaks is soaking water. You know, I'll spray it on there, you find the bubbles, and fix the problem. Everybody know what this is? It's a gauge red. Red is bad, green is good. If you look at the center of the green, it shows what? 100 psi. So that's what we're looking for by the time we're, we're done charging this uh, water tank. Sparse? Above. above it, uh, above like the 100. So if you look at the bottom, it's a bar, and then if you look below it, it's a psi. Okay, so if you have a pin, some people I say, hey, put your pins in if you have a pin, and naturally this will drop down to that level, but you actually have to fix and align the holes to drop the pin. But it's not tied down, because when usually they do this, they put a nice little principle tie stop, because if not with a slight movement, it just pops on their heads. Okay? So if you use it, if you have a pin, use it, squeeze it. So when you come out to the drill site, we're going to go over the pass, right? We're going over the passes. Yes, sir. Like 
like legit broke my skull. The only time that you're going to really have issues there is when you you're going to see a slight screen. I don't think we've seen that yet. The real important one is the straighter valve and the one that's under They're all important, don't get me wrong, but the one that's not going to hold pressure is going to be the one that's on the top of the tent or the tent. Okay? Alright. Um, also, adding the just silver and adding some foam in here, why would we need it? Friction is water. Restriction, give me another word. Service uh, uh, so uh, And it's going to give you a little bit more. Does that make sense? Okay, good. So, covering that. So, so we went to the label for. We went to the label for the two and a half gallons, right? So let's talk about, this is, at the very top, this is a water fire extinguisher, 2A, 2-A. Talk to me about that. That would be, uh, class A. Class A. Class A. Class A. And the two is for what? The size, how much you can tell me. Okay, so tell me. I'm sorry? Class A. Class A. They're saying that this is a class A fire extinguisher, right? And it's going to be able to put out a size of a fire of two square feet. All right? Nobody understand that. Hey.
Don't hit wood. Good job, Woodard. Which way is the smoke going? Okay, so let's stay upwind, okay? Yes, sir, yes, sir. 